In this project, I'm going to add a product called Add a Drawer to the underside of my uh, dinette table. Unfortunately, uh, when you see the advertisement, it shows two drawers, but when you get the box, you only get one. So, you got to buy two of them. Now, this ends up being a little bit on the expensive side because these things are around $25 a piece. So, you're going to have $50 bucks, uh, wrapped up into it. And in all honesty, it should be $25 for two. Just be mindful that if you want uh, the layout as it's shown in this photo, you're just going to have to buy two of them. So that may or may not be economically viable for you. But since we already bought one, you know, we just went ahead and bit the bullet and bought the second one. So basically, this is the product. Um, and when I'm going to install it, I'm going to install it underneath here. But I got to make sure that I leave enough room so that I can depress this so that I can get the leg up. Yet yeah, also leave enough room so I can fit this underneath the uh, table cushion so that there's enough room here for this to be tabletop to made, it made into a bed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the cushions off, lower this table down, and then mark down here how much clearance I've got. Then I'll take this top off and install these. So what we're going to do now is I got the tabletop lowered and I'm going to mark underneath where the table fits over on top of the benches here so that I can make sure on both sides here that I leave enough clearance uh, so that this can actually go back down again. That probably is the main thing you got to look out for when you're installing these. Well one issue that complicates things is this lip here on three sides but not on the back. So what I'm going to have to do here is when I put this on I'm going to have to extend this block back a little way so I can connect um, to the screws there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make a block and glue the block to the underside of this. So this is going to take a little longer than I thought it was. I was originally thinking about 30 second project, but as normal, things turn out to be a little more complex than first thought. And more than likely, I'll end up having to make a trip to the hardware store too, because I usually can't do projects without making three trips to the store. Well, I'm back to the store and I bought this uh, piece of wood here. A six inch by 12 and uh, basically I just glued it on and put some screws in it being careful not to go through the table because you don't want uh, you know screw ends to be protruding through the top of your table well one thing they do give you that's kind of nice they give you a little rubber band so that you can put that around here to keep everything all aligned while you uh, put it in but that again, for 50 bucks, I suppose that's the least it could do. Okay, we've got both uh, drawers in, and it's interesting to note that this is off center a little bit. So that was actually um, a manufacturing tolerance, I guess you would call it, from the, the RV factory because I measured with a micrometer there and there on this side. So there ain't no way these are off. These are actually in. Now, these, uh, when you pull them out, you can actually bring them up a, a notch and make them deeper, but you got to be mindful of your knees hitting these. So that's one other thing you'll want to check is to make sure that you got clearance from your knees. Okay, the test fit here shows that the drawers um, clear the um, bottom of the seat rails, so that's good. Well, in the end, here they are. Uh, they're kind of hidden. Um, you can pull each one out, and if you're not careful, they'll just keep coming out. There's a little bit of a catch there, but it's not not all that good. I mean, what do you expect for $50? I mean, you know, this is just cheap stuff. So, they do work for storage, and then I do have enough room to get my hand in here and reach the little uh, lever that I use to pop uh, the leg out down with. So. Anyway, whether uh, you think these are worth $50 or not for basically just some overpriced cheap stuff, I suppose that's debatable. Uh, but it does give you a little more storage, uh, so that's always a good thing.